Greetings YouTube! Last night we watched episode 6 of Doctor Who, didn't we? Yes, we did. And this episode was called Demons of the Punjab, which was an interesting title. It's not the weirdest Doctor Who title I've ever heard, but it was interesting. I was fascinated to see what was going to happen. And obviously 50 minutes later, I had my answer. It starts with Yaz's grandmother's birthday and a grandmother gives Yaz a broken watch. So time travel, we're obviously going to find out how the watch gets broken. Duh. So because her grandmother is hiding something or so she says, Yaz wants to time travel back and see what actually happened. Because that's a fantastic idea and has never, ever, ever backfired before. Yeah, one hour and no interference. Yeah, that'll work. When you see the outline of the alien for the first time, uh, at first I thought the Klingons had infiltrated the show. This episode covers the historical event that is known as the Partition of India. Two aliens, the locals call them demons, naturally, they move really fast. I mean, it's not, it's not Flash in Justice League impressive fast, but they, they, they move fast, it's their thing. Assassins, or supposedly, they, they're remarkably... Passive for assassins. Turns out there's a reason for that. When I first saw the outline, I thought Klingons. But once you see them properly, I started to think, okay, now they look like the Predator's thinner cousin. Having seen the episode, it's obvious that they deliberately timed and planned this one to coincide with Armistice Day. The Partition of India was the division of British India in 1947, which accompanied the creation of two independent dominions, India and Pakistan. The partition involved the division of three provinces, Assam, Bengal and Punjab, based on district-wide Hindu or Muslim majorities. The two self-governing countries of Pakistan and India legally came into existence at midnight on 14th, 15th of August 1947. Yes, I'm having to read this off of Wikipedia, because this is something about which I know absolutely nothing. And I'm kind of left with the impression that that's kind of the point because I, I vaguely very vaguely recall partition of India coming up at, at some point but I couldn't tell you a damn thing about it not a single thing the 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 video game Battlefield 5 that's uh, coming out uh, not so long from now they've already said that they're not going to feature the Normandy Beach landing as one of the levels because it's already been done to death, that everyone already knows about it. And so they're gonna, they're, there's plenty of theatres of operation around World War II, so they're gonna take inspiration from other places and create levels and areas that we haven't seen before. I kind of get the feeling that this episode is trying to do the same thing. Well, it does. It does do the same thing. It introduces you to individual characters, takes you into a very a small, easily understandable and recognisable situation and then puts it in the context of the partition of India and in doing so teaches you, effectively, about something about which I certainly know absolutely nothing. I feel like that's the point of this episode. It's is to make you remember this particular thing, especially, as I say, with Armistice Day just being yesterday. And it does it very well. It because, specifically because it takes a small group of people and gives you an attachment to them first and then puts the partition stuff in over the top. So you remember what's going on because it establishes the connection first and then hits you with the historical stuff. And it doesn't bombard you with dates and events and all over the place. No, it just it just focuses on this one little bit. But it works really well. And just in case you missed the whole Armistice Sunday connection with this episode, they throw in a bit of, uh, you know, the fields and poppies imagery. I'm not quite sure why. It's, it, it's pretty easy to make the connection. I, I don't think we really needed that, to be honest. Historically recently, Doctor Who has been uh, doing a Christmas episode every year. Um, this year they said they've already said they're not going to do that. I feel like that this 
maybe is at least partly their way of looking for something else to reference, you know, obviously Armistice Sunday instead. So I, I do very much feel like you can definitely tell that there's a different writing team at the helm of Doctor Who now. It's, it's taken on a... You know, I don't know how to describe it. It's just the, the style is very different. Instead of your traditional Doctor Who or maybe, um, you know, those series long arcs that we used to go through. This is, unless I'm missing something, which I could do. Uh, this is more individual episodes. They're, they're trying to do more more poignant stuff with each individual episode. It does feel a little bit less like Doctor Who because of it. I'm yet to make up my mind whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Still waiting on uh, Jodie Whittaker to do something massive and impressive, but maybe they're saving that for the end of the series. Fingers crossed. Okay, so that was episode six. Uh, didn't like it as much as episode three, and it is very, it's a very different direction for Doctor Who. Um, I'll see how the whole series pans out before I start dropping ratings. Anyway, looking forward to the rest of the series. Still hoping Jodie Whittaker does something impressive, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay, that's it. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe and share. All that jazz. See you next time.